Hey guys, this is your last topic for NXL Physics. Well done for making it to the end. It's a little bit of a slug with the physics there. If you want to get the free revision guide from my website that has all of the equations and units you need to learn for your whole of physics in there. Force equals the spring constant times extension. Force is measured in newtons, extension is measured in metres, and the spring constant is measured in newtons per metre. Elastic potential energy is equal to half times the spring constant times extension squared. Elastic potential energy is measured in joules, half is just a number, spring constant is measured in newtons per metre and extension is measured in metres. When you exert a force on an object it is going to be squashed or stretched or deformed in some way. Here I've done an experiment for you. This is commonly known as Hooke's Law. What I've done is taken a spring, this is the bottom of the spring kept marked in every single photo and I've added weights onto the bottom of it. You can see that the length of the spring is getting longer the more weights are added onto the bottom of it. We can plot what happens in Hooke's Law because it is our direct line until we get to a certain point and this point is the limit of proportionality. Before that it is going to stretch so the more force we add on as we increase force, the extension is going to be increased after we get to the limit of proportionality. No matter how much force you add on, it is not going to stretch anymore. It is potentially going to snap. Pressure equals force over area. The units for pressure are Pascals. For force it is newtons and for area it is metres squared. I have seen exam questions which use newtons per metre squared for pressure. If they do that in the exam question, give your answer in the same format. I've also seen exam questions where they've done newtons per centimetre squared. So if the question is in that format, give your answer in that format. This is one that you have to pay attention to because they could be sneaky here. Pressure with a P equals height times density, which is a lowercase rho, times gravitational field strength. Pressure is measured in pascals. Height is measured in metres. Density is measured in kilograms per metres cubed. Gravitational field strength is 10 newtons per kilogram. Our atmosphere is much more complicated than you would expect. And the atmosphere that we see close to the surface is very different to the atmosphere at the top. Down here we have um, our planes, our satellites, our weather going on. This is actually quite thick, it's quite dense compared to up here where there isn't much atmosphere at all. It's very, very thin. So the further that we are getting away from gravity, the thinner the atmosphere is. And the less pressure there is. An object is going to float when the forces are balanced. When the up thrust of the water is balanced than the weight of the object, but it is going to sink if the weight of the object is more than the up thrust of the water.